標ロック目標ロック隠れろついてないね家族になってくれるスバロブ Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Clara. She's another 5 star unit from the standard banner. She's physical type. She focuses mainly on taunting enemies, tanking those attacks, and also has pretty decent AoE damage to go with it as well. One thing to note before we get into her kit, this has no effect on her kit whatsoever, I just wanted to point out. She's paired with Svarag, and without saying too much about the characters in their story, Svarag actually does all the attacks for Clara. I just thought that was kind of cool. Pretty cool uh, character design and the way that they're linked together. But if you don't know anything about that, then don't worry about it. Look forward to learning about him when you play through the story. So Clara's kit, we have to talk about her abilities in a different order than usual. So we're gonna start with her talent. This is her passive. This is editing Sam after recording. So I'm sorry if my voice sounds different, maybe a little jarring. I'm gonna try to re-explain Clara's talent compared to when I first recorded this because it, it's kind of confusing. Clara's talent does three different things. Two of those things have the word counter in them, but they're different things, okay? So first, Clara's talent. Clara has a 15% damage reduction built into her kit by default. This number is fixed. Secondly, when Clara gets attacked, Svarag marks that enemy that hits her with a mark of counter, and this is tied directly to her skill, which we will talk about when we get to her skill. And lastly, additionally to Svarag marking the enemies that Clara gets hit by, Svarag also launches a follow-up attack, dealing 50% of the attack as physical damage to that enemy. So it's two separate things. Svarag marks the enemy with a mark of counter. This is related to the skill. And when she gets hit, Svarag will follow-up attack. Okay, so back to her basic. This is normal, 50% of attack is physical damage. As always, percentages I'm giving you are level 1. They may be different on screen, so keep that in mind. Her skill is an AoE attack. This is all enemies. It does 64% of her attack to all enemy units as physical damage. And then, additionally, this is tied to her passive. It deals 100% of attack to enemies marked with the counters. So Clara's hit, Svarag marks the enemy with the counter, and next time you use your skill, it will basically deal the AoE damage and then extra damage to that enemy that's marked. And then after all this is done, that marker gets removed. All right, this is editing Sam, I apologize for these jumps. Um, my words are very jumbled when I record this last night, apparently. So we're gonna go over Claire's ultimate again. Claire's ultimate. First, it reduces her damage taken by an additional 15%. Also, it increases the chance for her to be attacked by enemies for two turns. On top of that, this also enhances Svarg's counterattack. Normally, Svarg's counterattack only works when Claire is attacked, but after using the ultimate for two times, Svarg's counterattack works for when allies are attacked as well. In addition to Svarg's counterattack working for when allies are attacked, it also deals additional damage to what it would normally would do. It does mini AoE and it'll target the main and then the two adjacents. Again, this can happen two times and then it goes back to normal. Damage reduction to Clara. Increased chance for Clara to be attacked. Svarag's counter is enhanced and Svarag will counter attack for two times when allies are attacked, not just if Clara is. Lastly, Clara's technique. It's a standard ambush skill except she attacks the enemy and then it increases Clara's chance to be attacked by the enemies for two turns. Alright, moving on to Clara's bonus stats. For her bonus stats, she has 5 attack, 3 physical attack, and 2 HP stat increases. And as far as her bonus abilities, her first one doubles the weakness break chance of her counters. Second one, her resistance to crowd control debuffs is increased by 50%. And then number three, when Clara's HP is under half, Svarg's counter damage multiplier increases by 25%. Before we move on, as far as these bonus abilities, there is no separation between Svarg's counter attack and his mark of counter in terms of in the descriptions. They're both capital C and it's really hard to tell. I would like to make clear that I don't know if Svarg's counter damage multiplier, when this increases, I don't know if this is his counter attack damage increasing or if it's the damage of the mark that gets activated once you use the skill on the enemy that's marked. Uh, I'm unsure which one it is. One of those gets a damage boost, okay? Let's move on to light cones. All right, so Clara's signature light cone is called something irreplaceable. This increases the wearer's attack by 24% and after getting hit, uh, the wearer restores 8% of their attack as HP and then increases their damage dealt by 20%. So, so this doesn't stack, this doesn't last for a number of turns, this is just one turn, but it can be activated each turn. So, so you can effectively get this boost every turn, it just depends on how the turn order works and then if uh, the wearer gets attacked or not, right? That, that will determine whether or not this is useful. 5 star light cone from standard, you may or may not ever see this one. So let's talk about some alternatives. 
that would be Arlen's and Hook's. So let's talk about Arlen's first. His is called a Secret Vow. This increases damage dealt by wear by 20%. And then wear also deals extra 20% of damage to enemies with a higher HP than the wearer. Pretty straightforward. Increase damage if the opponent has higher HP, deal more damage, right? Now, hooks. Uh, this is probably gonna get nerfed. I think there was a bug with it in the beta. This is called the Moles Welcome You. For every basic skill and ultimate used by wearer, the wearer gains one stack of Mischievous, and then each stack increases the wearer's attack by 12%. Now, remember, this is at level one refinements or super imposition. I'm not sure what the percentage goes up to you if you're at level five. Uh, during the beta, there was no stack for this, um, which is kind of broken. I think people, some people were saying that it stacks up to 10, but I saw it go higher. I think it's a bug. I don't think it's meant to stack that high. I'm sure we'll see um, this reworked before official release because it is broken as fuck. The longer the fight goes, each turn you're getting a 12% attack increase. Remember, this is attack increase, not damage increase. And attack increase affects other abilities because everything scales off of your attack. So if you're increasing your attack percentage instead of your damage percentage, you're actually dealing overall more damage. I think that's how that works. Anyways, both of these are fine. I would love to see some kind of uh, a damage reduction light cone for more defense oriented characters uh, in the future. That's it for light cones. We have her signature and then our lens and hooks. That's enough rambling about light cones. Let's talk about her Eidolon levels. So level one, for Clara's first Eidolon level, using her skill won't remove the target's mark of counter. And not removing the mark of counter is already at level one, adding a 100% of her attack as extra damage on top of the skill's attack damage. Basically, Adalon level 1, a pretty significant damage boost for her. Adalon level 2, using her ultimate resource 20% of her max HP. Remember, level 3 is an abilities level increase, so this is plus 3 levels to her ultimate and then plus 1 to her basic attack. Level 4, after she gets hit, Clara's damage taken is reduced by 30% until start of next turn. This is fine, this is another damage reduction for sustained hits if you're fighting a lot of enemies. Level 5, plus 3 levels to her skill and then plus 1 to her basic. And lastly, Adalon level 6. So, after other allies are hit, Svarik has a 50% chance to trigger a counter on the attacker and then mark them with a mark of counter. So, also in addition to this, uh, after using Clara's ult, it adds two extra uses or times to her enhanced counter for Svarog. Her level 6 does a lot, okay? Um, basically, it turns her talent, which is normally a follow-up attack anytime she gets hit, it turns into a coin flip chance for anyone. If anyone's hit, Svarog will do the counter attack and mark them with a mark of counter. So, so basically, it semi-turns Clara's talent into something that applies to everyone on the field, as well as extends the damage that Svarog's counter can do after using her ultimate because remember Svarg's enhanced counter is a mini aoe not just one attack so you're getting four mini aoe attacks instead of two mini aoe attacks so basically level six just extends the effects of Clara's ultimate as well as you get some of the effects of her ultimate outside of using the ultimate basically like it basically adds some of the ultimate's effects to her normal kit by default but you guys know how it is that's eight on level six on a standard character so all right, so that's it for Clara's kit. Next, we're going to look at some gameplay and look at how Svarog's counter works. And hopefully, uh, if you still have any confusion, that this will clear anything up. All right, so this is going to show just the basic follow-up attack from Clara. So Clara's going to get attacked after you use this basic. So gets a damage boost, and then that's what the normal follow-up attack is. And then because Herda's Herda, she... Is always attacking that's unrelated but um then we use her ultimate right and then right which remember this makes uh as far as counter for other enemies if they're hit so after another enemy gets hit that was clear so that doesn't count well this still counts as one of the enhanced attacks see uh three enemies take damage there but then March gets hit, and then he does it as well. And it's also a mini AoE, which hits three uh, different enemies, and then her just follow-up is unrelated. But <clears throat> Now, the only thing I can't confirm is if Svarag puts a mark of counter on these enemies if an ally is attacked, because normally when Claire is attacked, he puts a mark, but I'm not sure about allies. If this is it, then this symbol is what indicates if the enemy will be taking extra damage when you use Clara's skill. Okay, one final clip. This is a different fight, but this is quite literally the only time I have used Clara's E in a recording. So you will have seen this already in the video because I have to reuse the same clip. So just to show what these mark encounters do, this is the symbol that indicates that they're marked by Svarag. So when you're in Clara and you're in her E, which is what these mark encounters are linked to, that's when it shows clarification, correction, whatever. You can see them, but you have to be in her E attack, looking at them, and then you can see which ones are marked. 
So basically, the only difference is it just does more damage. So just for the purpose of showing, we use it. It does a ton more damage. See all those numbers. That's it. All right, that's it for the overview of Clara. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, I apologize if this was confusing. It's hard since I can't um, go in the game and, and inspect all the things that I want to. But uh, this is what we have to work with until the game releases or there's a new beta. So as always, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.